What's going on, guys? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, guys, I've got a cool moon photo for you today. This is pretty neat. This is the Apollo 11. And, of course, we all know the Apollo 11 crew was Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, as well as Buzz Aldrin. My question is, and I've always had the same question, is were they up there looking for soil and rocks? No. My opinion, absolutely not. And the reason for that, I'm going to show you why I don't believe they'd be collecting rocks when they see the stuff they see around them where they landed. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, we'll go right over to here. Now, you can find this right here, and you can see the address right here. It's, uh, I think it's uh, IPI dash, or dot rather, uh, ISRA.edu. And, of course, it says Apollo Panoramas, and this one here, and it shows it right there. But right here on the main page, right there, it says it goes from a set of photos to a set of photos. So you get the uh, AS11-40-5881 to... AS11-40-5891. Uh, uh, now, here's a group of photos that are actually in here, the, the source frames. The one we're looking at, and the one is the most important, is this one right here. It's AS11-40-5884. You might say, why is that so important? Well, I'm going to show you. Now, this is the features of this particular landing area. is called Cat's Paw uh, Hills. Now, if you want to, I always go for the highest quality or the biggest photo we can get. The bigger, it is, the bigger it is, the less chance of it breaking up when you zoom in, right? All right, so let's click on that. Here it is here. Now, you can see the one of the uh, astronaut shadow right there. Of course, you got the landing module. Okay. Now, what we want to see is we got the flag here. To the left of that, right here in the middle of the screen, you see my cursor is just below that. It's going to be a little hard to see these because once I'm in this photo, guys, what you're going to see is this little round circle with a plus or minus, meaning zoom or unzoom, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put the object, set objects, right in the middle of the screen. Okay, so let's go over here. Just some of the things you can say, oh, man, that's so rocks, man. I, I can't believe that. You know, they're not just rocks. you got to look at them carefully. Now, these, eh, you kind of think, well, yeah, these are rocks. It's nothing, no big deal, and I would agree. But as you go closer and closer over here, you just kind of, let me just back up just a hair bit. Okay. We want to get closer and closer to these this area. Okay. And say, oh, yeah, rocks. What I want you guys to also pay attention to is the background. The background from, like, just above this cross here in the middle. In the back, you can see it's like a more of a darker color soil. It's not soil. That's manipulation. Watch what I'm talking about. As we go over here and creep over, look at this, like this supposed rock way in the back, which has this rectangular or square type item right on the side of it. I don't believe this thing is a rock at all. And this whole background, you can see right here, you got to pay attention to the lines. Again, guys, lines are everything. It doesn't matter the texture. You can always see where they put something around something like this. Even right here is very faint. I'm going to put it right in the middle of the screen right here. Let's put a smack dab right there and right there. All right, right here, you can actually see lines right there where they actually covered something up. There's something covered right up here. And this is probably really small to see, but I can't help that. It's not, I'm not like up here. You can see at the top of the screen, suddenly I got that red arrow at the very top. As soon as you go on the picture, like I said, it's either a negative or a positive, <coughs> depending if you zoomed in or not, right? Okay. Also at the back, just below this dark line, you can see what looks like rocks with holes in them, which I'm not sure where that is. One's got a faint one right here. I'll put it right in the middle. Right there. And one's got a, like a small, faint, dark circle. The other one's pretty, it's a little bit more prominent. It's a little darker, but you can see that, right? This rock right here, supposed rock. What I get a kick out of is this rock. It looks like it has this oval type piece on it with something like protruding out, like almost something pointed, right? But again, look at the texture right next to it. See that? Right to the right of it, you can see it's just whiter than its surroundings. Guys, this is texture laid over the photo. See, from a distance, I'm gonna show you what this thing's supposed to really look like, because I'm gonna go back to that area, which is right on the side of this instrument laying right here, right below my cursor. You can see it just the instrument right there, these are the rocks just below my cursor from left to right is what we're looking at, right? The funny thing about it is all that background in the back is completely been manipulated. Let's get back into it. 
Now, let me show you the anomaly that really stuck out for me. Guys, this is no doubt in my mind this is mechanical. There's just no doubt. As we get over here and get closer, get closer. This, even these things right here. Between that one I told you earlier, just we just looked at, this oval piece. But look at this right here. What is that? Look at the little lines that are in it, too. Right here, very faint. I'm going to put it right in the middle, on the top of the screen, this object. Just below, this small dot. You can see what looks like these little lines or details in there. Almost looks like there's something dark or round or something back there. This has been completely manipulated over. And you can see stuff over here has been manipulated. Okay. This is, again, what I'm more concerned about. This right here. Okay. What is that? To me, and I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can even see this. Right there in the middle of the screen. Is anybody seeing the same thing I'm seeing here, right? This is an actual wheel. You can see something, and I don't mean like a car wheel, but it's round. It's a disc coming down, going all the way around here. And I'm going to show you this a lot better in Photoshop because I'm going to enhance it. There's so much more here, guys. Oh, my God. The texture over here alone on the right-hand side of this is completely covering up the rest of this object. Now, even when I uncover some of it, it's still only part of this object, okay? I'm not sure what's going on here because I don't know if there's something attached to this particular uh, instrument stand. But right here, it kind of looks like, and I think it was just a flat piece. There was something. I forgot what this instrument was, to be truthful with you guys. But it's all been manipulated. Look in the back. Look at the lines. There's objects laying there, and they literally just put a texture over them. And you can see them in the back here, just under my little floating dot there. Just under that whole section going across, this whole back. The whole back of this thing. Now... Again, what I'm seeing here is this circle, and you can see the, the little round piece. I don't know if you can, because if you're on a phone or something small, you're in trouble. But right there, you'll see what I mean. It's round, has this bracket or whatever the hell this thing is with a small pin, which is probably the center pin of that circle or this round disc or whatever this thing is. But to the right of that little disc right here, right here, there's some other white things, and it connects. Also to the left of it. Let me show you what I'm talking about, because then we can really zoom in and really see this thing. But again... We want to see this photo here. This is the main one. And, of course, you guys will get the link. You won't have to search for it, as usual. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom into that. So this is just one photo from the pan. We're not looking at the whole pan now. Let me zoom in. Guys, what the hell? Look at that. That's cool. You can literally see a line right there. And a circle itself. as a disc. Okay. I want to show you that a little bit better. And you guys, like I said, you get the direct link. You won't have to search for it, but you get the page as well as the link, okay? All right. Let's jump down. Let's really zoom in right there. Now, let me outline this for you guys <clears throat> so you can see what I'm talking about. Has this disc kind of looking thing to it here. And you can see it's round, right? And it goes like this. has a line coming down. What well, looks like part of a bracketing with a pivot pin right there in the center. Or just a mounting pin, whatever you want to call it. Looks like some kind of bracketing of some sort, right? The other thing I want you guys to pay attention to is the, the actual shadows, okay? We see shadows here in this small rock right here. It's off to the left. You can see that everything that's in this photo, pretty much the shadows look original, right? They look real. Okay. Well, this one here also has what almost looks like a shadow right there, but why has it got this curvature? Is it a small hill next to it? Very good possibility. It's not. There's something hanging down here, going across, coming down, because the, ba the back of this is completely manipulated. And I'm going to show you that right now. What I did was I took the photo, and I just did a simple, I'm going to show you what I did. One like this here, and I just did a simple equalize, okay? Now, when you zoom in, notice the white here going past down here. So what I'm saying is we got this object right here, this white piece. Going like this, but it goes down further. It does not stop there. This is manipulation in between all of this. Again, here's that wheel type thing. Literally going up like this, going like that, stopping there, coming back down. Again, this bracket. I'm not going to do this very straight, guys, so I apologize for that. I'll just do that again. It's a little, little bit better. Okay, you can actually see the lines of this thing coming down piece here. Now, it almost looks like a darker piece because I went over it with the line, but there's another piece there. 
what looks like a bracket going up. Looks like it has a line coming down this thing. I'm not sure what to make of that. But it also goes across. But also take note of right here, there's a little white section. Very, very faint line. See the little line? Just very faint right there. Tip of that arrow is right on it. Okay. And also this piece. This is hanging down from up here. This something much larger here, guys. Much larger. Okay. So that's what I did there. All right. There it is. Now, this is what I started to do. Okay. All I do is I just made it anything that was white to begin with on this wheel. Went like this. Okay. Now you start to see this area right here. And of course, we got, like I said, this, this disc, whatever this thing is, with this weird, like I said, it, almost like right in the middle of this. I'm not sure if that, like, it looks like a disc of some sort with these two holes in it and stuff like that, right? And again, we can see this little area right here. Well, it looks like it's kind of going like this here, and it has like that. And of course, we got this area right here going back down. Now, let's keep going with it. Now, this thing makes more sense because you can see the manipulation right here. And the outline is, is actually there, by the way. You got to look really carefully, but I can see it right there going just like this. And what they did was this, these white pieces sticking out is part of whatever this thing is. So what they do is they cover up most of it. So you will think it's just some kind of far off rock and you won't think nothing of it. But the outline of this stuff is in fact there. It is there. There's no doubt about it. You can start to see it right there without me doing anything to this. So I started going into that more and more. And we can even go down here, guys, and check this out. There's some other weird-looking objects down here. Well, look like straight panels or something right here. You can just see the corner right there. This is going like this. Let me guess what that could be. I mean, it's just a rock, right? Come on, guys. Even something right here, there's something white. It looks like it's got a, it does this, goes across, back down. I'm not sure what to make of that, but that's there too. Let me just back out. And just to show you guys, look, it's in the photo. I didn't do anything. That's the original photo right there. It almost looks like there's a dot there. One maybe right there. I'm not sure if that's unless it's a shadow piece, but you can see that right there going like this. And you can see it going like this and up and over, whatever that is. There's also something right here in the photo. Let's do this. Okay. Guys, seriously? Now, what I was saying earlier was that I don't think they were up there for rocks at all. Let's assume that this is a recon mission. They're up there to see what's up there. Hidden technology, whatever the case is, right? Think about this a minute. I don't know if you guys remember this, but remember they got bagged or they were really on them about the rocks. They said they were fake rocks. They didn't come from the moon. So right off the bat, everybody said, well, clearly if they're fake rocks and the mission was fake, is it really? Let's, uh, you know, let's just analyze this for a minute. If you're going up there as a recon mission, right? You can only come back with so much weight. What would you take? Rocks or actually technology or pieces of technology back with you? Right. You took back technology and they already had it waiting. They had these weird rocks that they can find here on Earth. And who knows if they try to find the most rarest rock around and, and you know, they come up with something and then, they, you know, they try to pass it off as moon rocks. And people said, and they flagged it BS. It makes perfect sense. They probably were BS. You, again, you only have so much of a payload you can bring back. They brought it back in these little briefcases and stuff like that. Wouldn't it make more sense to bring back high technology or some kind of technology or something of uh, uh, an alien origin compared to a rock. I don't care if it's a, a, a solid rock of gold. Who cares? Gold you can get anywhere. You can always go back for it. When you look at the technology that's probably laying around that moon, you know exactly what you'd bring back. Common sense. And again, guys, look at the background. I enhanced it, all the little lines in the back. And look at this. There's things clearly in the back. Let me just back it a little bit so it's a little, <laughs> a little clearer. Uh, but check that out. Okay. These, this object, whatever the hell that thing is, is like I said, let me dock in that, but you can start to see it. Like I said, there's actually right here. You can actually see 
the actual white piece. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and draw this out right here. Nice straight line coming down. This looks like it's just kind of jumping across, but there's two lines coming like this, going down. And it may be, I don't know if this is the bottom of it or not, but right there, there's something white right here. And it's underneath this manipulation. Just like I said about this piece here, you can see the white still underneath the gray. That's right, folks. This is not ground. What they do is they did like a lasso where they can, let's say this bottom right here, they want to take that area, that texture, and they just plaster it all over what they want to hide. Now, some people say, well, what the hell would they hide that for and not the rest of that? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Let's call up and ask them. Because I'm seeing that too and I'm going, that clearly does not look like a standard rock or some kind of moon rock or boulder because clearly it's bigger than a rock. But to me, again, when enhanced, there you go. Like I said, all I do is just make this area here whiter. And that's pretty much all I did in this photo. You can see it, right? But then I started to enhance what was around this thing. And there you go. Yeah, guys, this is clearly not just moon rocks. I can only see that. I can actually see the line they drew right over here. I put this texture on there. Wow, it's crazy. See it right there? You can literally see these pieces. The only difference is I just put them white, and there's a little faint line coming right down. This is going like this. So what you're seeing here is actually part of whatever's under this area. That's what we're seeing. So, and you can see where they've, you know, laid this out, this texture, right here. Yeah. That's what it's all about, guys. This is what they're really seeing. They were after technology, things laying on the surface. Now, then you got to ask yourself this question. If this stuff's laying all over the place, who put it there? Why is it there? How long has it been there? Um, I mean, there's just a load of questions you can come out with on what the hell this thing could be. That's first and foremost, right? There you go. Tell me what you think, guys. You know, like I said, if I was going up there for a recon mission, because clearly they knew what they were going up there to see, right? Just common sense. If they're going up there for this, again, they'd have to have false rocks here on Earth and then say, oh, yeah, when well, we got them back, here's the rocks we got back. It would make more sense to me that they would bring back some kind of piece of technology inside that and bring that back. And then they falsified the rocks. And, of course, they got caught in it. And, of course, they said, no, 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 these are real moon rocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wouldn't matter. I wouldn't bring back rocks. I'd be like, I don't care, moon rock. Oh, you know, they did bring back some dust. But I wouldn't bring back rocks. Clearly, when I can bring back some kind of alien technology. Guys, comment. Throw your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share. Always appreciated. You guys know that. And guys, I got more Mars coming up as well. So stay tuned for that. And as well as another moon one coming up. I know you guys have been looking for these. So my apologies. I'm trying to get them out. It's going to be a busy weekend for me. So I got to try and get these things out for you. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video.